So this question is set up like a simplified question. So if you remember, or if you've seen any other videos where I use this strategy, I say that you can identify simplified questions because they are typically very short, um, between one and three lines long, and they always have either an equation provided or an expression. So this is a little bit trickier than most because we have two equations and the question itself is actually an expression. So I'm, gonna just, I'm just going to write what we know down. So we know that A minus B is equal to 12. We know that B divided by two is equal to 10. And we know that we're trying to figure out what A plus B is equal to. So the idea with simplification or the idea with realizing that a question you're looking at is a simplified question is that you put energy into just what was I given and can I simplify it? Just even that thought alone versus how do I find the answer is sometimes very, very helpful for students. So this is what I mean. Let me fix this. I mean, when I look at A minus B equals 12, there's no way to simplify that, right? A minus B equals 12, there's no like terms. There's nothing I can do there. When I look at B divided by two equals 10, there actually is something I can do. I can solve for B. So how do I solve for B? Well, I can solve for B by multiplying both sides of the equation by two. By doing that, the twos cross cancel on the left-hand side. And then of course, this 10 times two becomes 20, which means that what I really have here is that B is equal to 20. Now that's very helpful because from that, I can plug B into this first equation and solve for A. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to have A minus, instead of minus B, I'm going to say minus 20, since we know B equals 20, is equal to 12. So A minus 20 equals 12. I can add 20 to both sides. And what I'm left with is that A is equal to 32. So now I know what A equals and I know what B equals. Well, the question just wants me to figure out, well, what is A plus B, right? So A plus B would be 32, right? Because A is equal to 32 plus 20 because B is equal to 20. And 32 plus 20 is equal to 52. Therefore, the correct answer here is choice D.